Welcome back, guys, and uh, a couple of things. Um, I'm, I'm working on the research at the moment, but I just thought I'd uh, stop it for a second. Um, we need to put some bus stops in for the for the education thing, so I'm just going to put like a bus stop, yeah, like one on that side, one on that side. That should give us good coverage. I'm just going to do that on all of the uh, all of the circles. So yeah, there and there and uh, how about there and one on this side and two more and we're all done so yeah there and there cool so now our uh, our buses can get around a bit better because uh, we're, we're only getting like yeah like 250 out of 900 so that'll get a, bit, a few more of the students to school which is always a good thing right um, the re the kind of the reason why I've, I've kind of stopped the uh, the research where I am at the moment is because um, in order to do any more advanced research we need to put these buildings in so that means we need to decide who's gonna get what well now first thing right this one the quantum science well that's got to go to the technologists and plus like the shape of it I think is kind of like appropriate as well now like kind of ideally I would have liked this yeah like facing like like maybe the pointy bit facing towards the the mega tower, um, but can't do that. So you know what? For now, I'm just going to pop that in there. I would have kind of liked it with that sort of alignment, you know, with the, with this kind of looking up towards the mega tower. I think that would have been quite cool. Um, so we might play around with this. Um, now the other two. Ooh, choices, choices. Nanoscale Engineering and the Plasma physics, physics Annex. And, um, like, this one's going to be the same, you know? But I think, like, this one looks the, like the greenest. So I think we're going to put that one in there. But again, I'd kind of like it sort of sloping up towards the Mega Tower. I think that would look... So we, yeah, I think we're going to have to play around with these, um, these circles at the front. Um, right, this one's not approved yet, but that one will be going in for the... Um, for the commercial side, and uh, like, well, let me kick. The, I'll kick off the next bit of research. Uh, what are we putting in now? Yeah, garbage atomizers. Yeah, I need to. Re I need to do something before I can do the level four. So we'll do the garbage atomizer. It's the only one. The only one we can do. Right. Well, that's an easy choice. Um, I've been looking at this um, center circle, and um, it's kind. Of, it's kind of doing like reasonably okay at the moment. Um. But I was like thinking that um, we can maybe well, we can play around with this. So I was I was playing around with roads, um, and I thought to myself, well, it'd be kind of nicer if the road was like closer to the to the tunnel entrances. Um, so um, circle and high density, and let's come out. Uh, let's do it on this one because I, I want to come into this center point here. So I'm thinking about like there. And then come into that center point. This bit shade closer, I think. There. Oh no! Why are you complaining? Oh, regional. Don't need a regional street. Need an ordinary street. And like there. All right. And um, then I can put that in. But what I'm actually thinking of doing, I, you know, I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that in. Right. And then I can actually get rid of um, like the whole center bit get rid of that and we can get rid of these bits what I'm actually thinking of though is instead of having this as a circle maybe just connecting these points up with straight lines oh, there's like all kinds of things that I could do with that but that's made that like a bit wider so we can get like more in like, like, depending on what the hell I want to put in. But, like, even if it's the Washington Monument, maybe we could put some parks around or some parklets or all kinds of stuff. But I like the fact that the road's closer to these um, tunnel entrances so that these roads aren't so aren't quite so prominent. Right. Um, this is going to take a while. See, it's only 6%, so um, uh, loads more research, and I'll come back to you. Right. Now, that was uh, that was quite a long break, actually. Um, I've got um, pretty much all the research done. Um, 
as you can see, like there's only a few things left. Let's um, kick off the next one. Uh, like, what the hell do I want? Oh, wave power plants. I want those. Right, yeah, we'll do those for certain. Uh, okay, so right, as you can see, right, things have moved, changed a little bit because we've um, I've been playing around while I've been doing the research with these mega towers, and uh, as you can see. We've got um, we've got like a little one here and two medium ones and then a full height one over here. And take a look at this because this is I think this is like fairly cool. Look at this. Now this is the biodome, which is like perfect for the eco area. So this kind of works out nicely. Um, and uh, yeah, but like before we do anything, um, I want to pop the um, the industrial buildings back in. I took them out because I didn't want the pollution building up before we'd got the um, the ground scrubbers done. But I've done the ground scrubbers now. So I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to take some of these buildings. Hmm. Now how am I going to do this? Because I want to remember what order they're in. Um, so I want, I'm going to put I'm going to put six of these in. Like if I can actually get them to go in. So I'm going to put three and four in the middle there then I'm gonna put a ground scrubber on either side where are my ground scrubbers there they are um, oh come man, man that's kind of a little difficult to see I want it mm, I'm gonna give it one little bit of space right put that there and then this on this side same thing one little bit of space boom put that in hole like that right then go back to my industry and put um, oh, let's do it this way so I put two there and one on this side and then I want five and six on this side and I'm going to take a look at these when they're when they're done and when they're futurized and see like do I want to pick like a couple of them or like how do I want to do it? Right. Um, I want you guys to see this. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on slow, right? So that at least they start building. We get the we start to get this process rocking along. But I want to show you like uh, what I've been playing around with with the sky bridges because I I've tried all kinds of different things, different angles and spirals and all kinds of things and uh, this is the one that I've come up with that I have grown to like when I first put it in I was like yeah but like after like spending a few minutes with it it just grew on me and grew on me so um, I hope you're gonna like it as much as I kind of do now so what I'm gonna do is hook this one up now this is on level 2 going up to level 5 Right, and then the same on this side. This is going up to level five here. Right, and then level five going up to level eight. So it's um, it's a three level rise on each one. Ooh. Now bear with me, guys, because like like I said, when I first looked at this, I was like. I don't know about this, but the more I looked at it, the more I liked it. And uh, you know what, guys? But it, this is a little bit laggy. I think I've got some stuff open in the background. Um, let me close that stuff down and come back to this. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if that's any any better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I sorry about that. I had some stuff open in the background. Um, cool. Right. Now, sh oh, I've got to show you like my favourite view of this. God, and I, sorry, guys, there's going to be a bit of ooing and ahhing because I'm kind of liking how this is working out. See, I love the fact that with like with this side. This is the dominant building, and it stays the dominant building, right? The mega tower doesn't dwarf it, right? Then over here, these two are strong enough and and like big enough to kind of balance with the mega tower at that height, 
so so this looks okay i'm i'm kind of a bit mm, about the commercial side this looks a little bit weak over here so i think what i'm going to have to do is maybe replace these buildings with some more of these right just to give it like enough strength if you know what i mean and uh, maybe even put in another one of these you know, so there's two of these, just to, to kind of add the strength to it. Oh, and by the by the way, somebody said about putting this building in with the with this rotating uh, rotating ball. I've already put it in. <laughs> I forget who it was that said it, but uh, somebody left me a comment and said, "Oh, you should put that building in." It's like I already have. Look, I do like this rotating ball. Some of these holograms are actually very cool. But uh, right, shut up, Skype. Um, let's go over here, right, and show you my, like, favourite view of this. Because I think this, from over here, oh, 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 let's get, oh, see, I like, I like this. Oh, there you go. That was kind of the angle that made me go, ooh, I like that. Oh, that's... This is working, guys. This is really working, I think. I'm just looking at these and thinking, mm, I might I might change the layout of these buildings. Because I really like these. They are very eco. With all the green and stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Working out nicely. Now, right. Let's, um, let's carry on, then. So... Let's speed this up a little bit so we can get these uh, buildings built. So that's going to provide us with some industry. Now, I did have some problem with my commercial buildings going abandoned. And, um, like, initially I thought, well, mm, is, it, is it the land value? Is the, is, the, is the high wealth land value not extending far enough? But it was only the commercial buildings, not the residential buildings. Um, so, like, that wasn't the issue. And... Um, then it was like, well, we're like, what the hell else can it be? And eventually I realised that uh, the crime was a bit out of control. And as you can see, um, I only fixed this, like, a few in-game hours ago. And I realised that um, the, the cells were full. I hadn't put enough cells in. So I've just whacked a few more cells in, and now this is, um, this is going down. And it's actually fine again. So that should um, that should solve that problem. But putting these buildings in, these industrial buildings in, should um, should help even more because now the commercial buildings will be getting freight, which makes them very happy. Oh, you know this is starting to come together. What you know, the kind of the next thing that I'm I'm, I'm puzzling out is like how the hell can I have those high density industrial buildings that I want over here because trying to get enough workers for those is gonna be tough now I think I'm gonna have to put in an arcology right that that would be one solution I did think that one thing I could do is like bury a road back here and see if I can plop some um, low wealth, high density, like buried in the ground. So that, like you wouldn't see them. And they'd be behind these buildings. That could be kind of a cool idea. So I might have a little bit of a play around with that. But what I wanted to talk to you about was this middle bit. Because this middle bit, it's not working for me, this middle bit. And I've thought about, like, well, what if I put, you know, some kind of building in? We talked about the Washington Monument. And I don't think the Washington Monument would look bad. Um, let me show you. I think the Washington Monument would look... Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, I think the Washington Monument would look okay, right? In, you know, somewhere in there. But, it, like, with the Mega Towers, it's kind of a bit small and insignificant like I really do like the sundial idea and whatever but what I'm thinking of doing is this 